Well, I'm feeling autumnal. Do you need a roll eight? No. I need pumpkin spice lattes, candy corn, costume parties, which is magic. Let's egg the neighbor's house. And throw batteries at children. <laughs> I was entered by a ghost last night. You were? In my anus. You were not. Yes, I was. Last night I was possessed by trade from the afterlife. Eight sexy spirits ran train on me. So you can channel the dead, Pete? Of course. Gay ghosts that have unfinished towing channel my sexy, sweet, tight body so they can keep So they possess you? And then they f you. Yes, in October is peak season. Oh my god, are they here with us now? Are they demonic? Are they uncut? Oop. They're here. And we're uncut. But why you, Pete? I have the gift. My gay uncle had the gift, and my gay uncle's gay uncle had the gift, and his gay uncle's gay uncle had the gift. The gift. So, all those times that I've seen you be a slut, that wasn't really you being a slut, it was you possessed? Oh, like the time you tried to finger that go-go dancer at G-Lounge. Or the time you tried to figure that go-go dancer at Motherlode. Or that time you tried to finger that go-go dancer at Trunks. That go-go dancer had you banned from Trunks. So was that you who got banned from Trunks, or that ghost that possessed you that was banned from Trunks? The ghost. Can you channel Pierre? Who? My Pierre. He had the most delicate, soft hands and the deepest brown eyes, and the way he would unbutton my button ups was beyond erotic. Where'd Pierre go? Heaven. Oh. I lost him in a tragic mugging one night on the way home from the theater. We were walking back to our Manhattan fixer upper down a dark, desolate alley. I had just proposed marriage to him after professing my love for him when, out of nowhere, the steps this man holding a gun. Listen, you, you in danger, girl. Uh huh. Pierre wrestled him to the ground. Gun goes off. The man ran off and I'm left holding Pierre lifeless in my arms. Why would somebody do such a thing? Turns out that it was Pierre's best friend, Carl, who was behind it all. Pierre and Carl were bankers, and they had access to a client's $4 million account. So Carl hired a hitman to off Pierre so he could have access to the money. Was Carl sexy? Oh, very. He tried to seduce me to distract me from grieving over Pierre. It didn't work. But then when Carl found out that I knew that he was behind Pierre's death, he came after me trying to kill me too. Oh, he chased me all over my apartment building. But eventually he met his dark fate when he fell out the window, and he was killed by one single sharp shard of glass. Oh my god. Beat, can you channel Pierre now? I haven't been able to sculpt or do my pottery since he- No, I won't. I only do no strings attached conjurings. I'll buy you a burrito. Okay. And I'll use this potion. What is it? Patron. With just a splash of club soda. It's my gay uncle's recipe. <laughs> Goodbye, Lucid, and keep making those clay pots. <laughs> what happened? Why is my anus sore? Pierre used it to get to me. I have to go now. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, me next. No, I gotta go ice my hole. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.